All right, scientists, today we are going to talk about CER, also known as claim evidence reasoning. Um, this is something we use in science to make our writing really, really powerful. And so it's a nice quick tip um, to be able to use whenever you have to communicate information in science. All right, so first things first, claim. The claim is the what. Claims are normally a statement. They set the purpose or they answer maybe a question. Um, usually only one sentence, really quick, no explanations, no because, no I think, nothing fancy, just a quick direct statement that is going to set the tone for what you are going to communicate next. All right, after the claim, we get the evidence, and that's kind of how it's explained. So for evidence, we can use a data or graph from experiments that we've done. We can use a quote or a summary of text from, you know, an article, a textbook, a video, a simulation. Um, well, normally these we, things we refer to as like text evidence, but we have to think of text evidence in science as more than just something from a book, right? It can be anything that's a quote of something that was said. We can be using as evidence, right? So those are kind of our two major sources for evidence. All right, and then we have the reasoning, the why. And that's where you get a chance to explain. And most people kind of talk about why the evidence backs up the claim fused with some of the things they think, like why did you pick this evidence without saying the words I think. All right, so let's look at some examples here. So here's our question, right? We're gonna use a, a claim that answers the question. Do hedgehogs make good pets? So we have a claim. Hedgehogs do not make good pets because they are painful. Wait a minute. So the word because. No, no, no. We can't have that. All right. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. All right. That's a nice claim. Nice, clear, succinct, to the point. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. All right. Let's move on to some evidence. All right. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. The evidence is hedgehogs aren't good pets because I think they aren't very friendly and they aren't good at being pets, so you shouldn't get one. Is that evidence? It's not from anywhere. It's just my opinion. I do think hedgehogs aren't very friendly. And I don't think you should have one as a pet, but that's not evidence. That's my opinion. All right, we gotta get rid of that. Okay. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. The evidence is people shouldn't keep hedgehogs as pets according to Vet Street, mm, with a link to a source, because they are active at night, can bite, and can be defensive. Aha, that, that is evidence. All right, let's move on to the reasoning. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. People shouldn't keep hedgehogs as pets, according to Vet Street, because they are active at night, can bite, and can be defensive. Reasoning is also pigs aren't good pets because they can get really big and should live on a farm. Therefore, in conclusion, hedgehogs aren't good pets. I see people do this all the time, where they can't think of something else to say, so they talk about an unrelated topic. Mm -mm. Your reasoning has to explain why your evidence matches your claim. Your reasoning has to explain why your evidence matches your claim. So let's try it again. Hedgehogs do not make good pets. People shouldn't keep hedgehogs as pets, according to Vet Street, because they're active at night, can bite, and can be defensive. An animal that bites wouldn't make a good pet for most people, especially those that want to sleep at night. That's what I think. I want to sleep at night. I don't want an animal that bites, and it matches my evidence. So there is my reasoning. I've explained my evidence and made it look nice. Now, to like really wrap this thing up, you want a nice little in conclusion thing on there. In conclusion, hedgehogs just do not make good pets. Notice how I rephrased the claim, but not completely changed it around a little bit, made it a little fancier, right? All good. All right. There's my CER. Nice, neat CER. All right. The tricky part about these really is making a good claim. You want a claim that's specific, talking about your topic that you're going to be writing about. You want it to be interesting something that people are going to want to read and a really good claim is one that somebody else could maybe debate with you we'll talk more about this but kind of keep those things in your brain also know let me go back one slide here you might have multiple cer's in a big project and that's okay because we might have multiple things we need to explain or prove so don't just write a paragraph think about are you really proving what you're setting out to prove with really good evidence, really good reasoning that backs up your claim. Thanks, scientists.